It's a rare scene on California's roadways. Two mangled cars damaged beyond repair. Their occupants dead or seriously injured. And loved ones left wondering what could have been done to stop it. Wrongly collisions tragically kill 37 people on highways across California each year. But Caltrans hopes to change that. Caltrans has a pilot program in place aimed at preventing wrongway crashes. But what does it do? In 2015, following a series of wrongway crashes on freeways in the Sacramento and San Diego areas, many involving drunk drivers, Caltrans partnered with the California Highway Patrol to develop a pilot program aimed at preventing them. We initiated pilot projects in both District 3 Sacramento and District 11 in San Diego. In each district, Caltrans installed and tested several countermeasures. These two-way reflective pavement markers show white or yellow to right-way drivers and red to wrong-way drivers. Caltrans installed wrong-way signs in two different spacings and these do not enter signs equipped with LED flashing lights. And an active monitoring system uses radar to detect wrong-way drivers, then sends real-time alerts and photos through a traffic management center like this one. A combination of these countermeasures were installed at 60 exit ramps along Interstate 15 in the San Diego area, and at 18 exit ramps along Interstate 80, Interstate 5, and Highway 50 in the Sacramento area. Here's what they found. The two-way reflective pavement markers were an effective measure against wrong-way drivers. Something different a uh, driver sees going down the ramp, uh, especially at nighttime. Um, they're very visible, so when those headlights hit those reflective markers, it's basically a lot of red shining back to that driver. In the San Diego area alone, the number of wrong-way drivers decreased by 44% after the markers were installed. The method was so effective Caltrans decided to update its statewide design standards before the pilot program was even over. We're installing them everywhere. We're doing projects. Already, the two-way markers have been installed on hundreds of miles of the state highway system. As for the other countermeasures, the study found the flashing LED signs showed promise at preventing wrong-way collisions, and the traffic monitoring systems proved effective at detecting wrong-way drivers. We observed a number of them self-correcting typically within the first couple hundred feet of that ramp. The advanced systems may be used at certain locations, but will require additional review and development of guidelines for their use. Following the initial pilot program, Caltrans became the first department in the country to receive federal approval to pilot another round of countermeasures. In September, Caltrans began painting red arrows and the words do not enter on the pavement at 30 exit ramps in San Diego. And it's an ongoing process, so we're hoping that we're going to be reducing these types of uh, events and hopefully save some lives in our, uh, in our state and communities. The markings are only visible to wrong-way drivers and will be studied for one year. In the meantime, Caltrans will continue installing the two-way reflective pavement markers across the state, supplementing locations with LED flashing signs and monitoring the impact they have on wrong-way drivers. During the three-year pilot program, UC Davis conducted a secondary study in partnership with Caltrans looking specifically at wrong-way driver behavior. The results of that study and the study featured in this story are available on our website, dot.ca.gov. With this Caltrans News Flash, I'm Kirsten Tomlinson. <laughs>